If you're on a three-life path, you're what I'd call the communicator. Your primary purpose is to develop your sense of creative self-expression and emotional sensitivity in whatever you do. Because what we're here to do is never the easiest thing for us to do, you'll experience consistent challenges in these areas of your life. So where to begin? This is something you, as a three life path, will connect with. So many ideas, so little time, right? The three is the number of creativity and your life is full of ideas galore. You're the consummate entertainer. You excel with performance of all kinds, whether it's on camera, in the theater, in the sound studio, or in front of a 300 student lecture class. You're often the class clown, or at least you have an exquisite sense of humor and are witty. Humor is an important part of how you communicate because the number three is the most joyful number in numerology. The expression of the three is all about fun, joy, creativity, and socializing. You love being around a lot of people, selectively, of course, and you need your friends and you thrive when you're involved in social interaction. You have a flair for the dramatic and you tend to tell fantastic stories and are known for your expressive abilities, if not downright theatrics. Anything having to do with communication is your gift. You're a gifted writer and speaker. Anything having to do with the written or spoken word is right up your alley and you really need to cultivate it. You're highly emotionally sensitive and are like an emotional sponge. In this way you make a fabulous actor because you have an innate sense of being able to mimic people's characteristics and accents. You make a great teacher and you're also a natural counselor. You're also highly intelligent and really what you're best at is taking a lot of information that's already out there, reworking it to make it new, meaning contemporary and relevant, and then you wrap it back up and present it to others in order to make their lives better. At the end of the day, the true spirit of the three life path is to inspire and uplift others and yourself. And you're meant to do this with unbridled joy and with a lot of fun. The thing about the life path is this, many people are pulled into the entirely opposite direction than what their life's purpose indicates for them. I call it the flip side of your life path and we can begin to cue the Darth Vader heavy breathing here because it's like selling your soul to the dark side. It may seem like the easiest route at the time and yet it never is because your results will always be unhappiness, ill health and feelings of despair that you're just not doing what you are meant to be doing. Whatever the heck that might actually be. So some of the key concepts for the three life path are, and yet not limited to, upbeat, joyful, optimistic, creative, intellectual, witty, emotionally self-expressive, written and verbal acuity, performance, inspiring, and uplifting. And now for the issues and stumbling blocks along the way, and I know you've been dying to hear this part, right? <laughs> so, since you're all about developing creative self-expression and emotional sensitivity in your life, you'll experience deep challenges around these very issues. A three-life path often struggles with severe oversensitivity and has blocks in the areas of communication and creative self-expression. I've met three life paths who have, literally, they have speech impediments, or, or they would rather be run over by a train than speak in public, or, or who are so intellectual that they appear to be more like a robot than an emotion-based human being. So understand that part of the beauty and the irony of understanding the implications of your life path purpose and what it brings to you is to know that the core of your struggles will most often center around the core themes of your life path number. And for you, that centers around communication, expression, joy, and emotional sensitivity. So as a three life path, here's your biggest nemesis, extraordinary self-doubt. You can overthink everything to the point of obsessive compulsion or simple analysis paralysis, so much so that if you don't understand this about yourself, your tendency is to talk yourself out of moving through some of the harder parts of things. And by things, I mean relationships, projects, that sort of thing. So you stop yourself short right before taking it to the next level. And then you wonder why nothing ever works out for you or why you can't follow through with certain things successfully. Know that the only way you can manifest what you want in your life is to take 
action. Many times a three life path will think, think, think about it, and then think about it some more without actually just throwing caution to the wind and doing something. You're so talented, so full of creative ideas, and you're good at almost everything you do, right? So you have this tendency to become scattered sometimes. And A, only involve yourself in the fun part of something and, and then walk away when it gets a little more involved. Or B, lose interest in what you're doing and abandon it before you even give it a solid try. And this is really due to self-doubt prim primarily because sometimes it's a been there, done that sort of rationale. Or C, you become the perennial student, raking in advanced degrees, certifications, and training while never devoting yourself to doing what it takes to manifest what you really want. Again, because of this self-doubt disguised as, I'm just not sure. So your next demon? Extreme emotional highs and lows. The three life path makes the best manic depressive who ever lived. You are so emotionally sensitive that you have a tendency toward depression. Is this something that you're familiar with? Because as a three life path, it's all part of learning about your emotions and then mastering how to express yourself in an authentic and communicative way. So you'll experience a whole heap of roadblocks on your path to creative emotional self-expression. So I've noticed that a good sampling of three life paths grow up in families with alcoholism or, or other family situations that literally don't allow real emotions at all. What a perfect environment to challenge the three life path with actually having, identifying, and then expressing your emotions in a healthy way. Many three life paths spend many years not even understanding that they have intense emotions and that's, that it's really imperative that they express them. So when you haven't embraced your emotional sensitivity, you're bound to express yourself negatively, perhaps in the form of, oh, jealous bad mouthing, cynicism, and, and pounding judgment. The thing about you is that you often show a calm, cool, rather rational exterior, so much so that people around you have absolutely no clue that there are explosive and churning emotions going on inside of you. And oftentimes you want to keep a lid on it because it feels too dangerous. And that's also where the depression comes in. So if you feel this way, always ask yourself, what am I depressing? What am I holding down? because that will give you a start as to how to move those emotions up and out in a healthy and empowering way. Often when a three life path hasn't found their way toward joyful self-expression, they can see the negative in everything and are eager to point it out. They'll also be the one in the room who makes everyone cringe because they think they are so funny when actually their jokes are inappropriate and often quite offensive. So when you're not in your game, you can feel as though the world is a heavy and a joyless place. You can grapple with feelings that your glass is always half empty. And rather than embodying the pure essence of joy, you sometimes tend to gravitate more toward feelings of hopelessness. Some of the key concepts for your flip side list might include extreme self-doubt, moodiness, depression, acute emotional highs and lows, gossip, scattered, collector of training and advanced degrees without landing somewhere, lacking follow through, afraid of criticism. Ultimately, you have problems exposing and expressing your feelings. Know that you're here to work with creative expression and emotional sensitivity in the most inspiring and uplifting ways you can muster. You're a person who thrives when you're actively communicating, being clear and precise in your communication, and enjoying the spotlight. The energy of the number three needs to be heard through joyful self-expression. Your true gift to yourself and to the world lies in your gaining a strong sense of your inner emotional life, trusting your feelings without feeling the need to justify or ignore them, and using your creative and expressive talents to inspire and entertain others.